and welcome to the third lesson in our Ban Lab course. In the previous video, we learned all about what these main controls do up here. If you need to refresh your memory, make sure you check out the previous video. In today's lesson, we are going to be importing a loop and we're going to start building our four track piece of music using the loops today. First of all, what is a loop? So a loop is a pre-recorded sample, a piece of music that's already been pre-recorded that we can use today in our piece of music. Before we get started using and importing our loops, I want to talk to you about the difference between audio and MIDI. So when we first created our project, we selected an instrument track, which is the track it created here on the left hand side. So this instrument track is a MIDI track and the loop that we're going to be importing today is going to be an audio track. An audio track is basically anything that's been recorded, uh, a live piece of music, you know, a voice, a guitar, a piano, anything like that has been recorded live using a microphone. A MIDI signal is usually something generated by uh, a keyboard, a MIDI keyboard, and it contains information about the keys pressed. MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface, in case you're wondering. Let's get started importing our loop. If you look down the bottom right hand side of your BandLab window, you will see this tab right here called Loops. So I'm just going to press on that and it brings up this page here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going up to the top and I'm going to click on All Loops. So this loads up all of the loops that BandLab has to offer. So with the track that we're creating today, the first loop I'm going to import is called a two-step beat number six so as you can see if you scroll down there's loads of loops here but i'm looking for two-step beat number six which is this one here and if you click on it you'll be able to hear it you can also click off it to stop as well so to import the loop all we're going to do is click on it and drag it into our range window here so i'm going to click and i'm going to drag See, as you can see, because this is an audio track, it won't let you drag it into this MIDI one here. You see it's greyed out and it automatically created a new audio track for us. So all I'm going to show you today is how to rename your loop. So if you go over to the track here and you see your cursor, you're going to click on that. Uh, I'm going to get rid of it and I'm going to call this um, just our beats for now. And then you can click off it and it's renamed your loop for you. In the next video, we're going to learn all about editing our loops.